Hey guys, this is Kanov, and this is going to be the seventh video in my YouTube series for 3D modeling. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how you can 3D model your own mug using Fusion 360. Alright, so let's get into it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you want to first create a sketch that's going to be in the right plane. It can be the right or the left plane, it depends on what your choice is. I'm going to choose the right plane because it's easier like that. So now, after this, the first thing you should do is you're going to be going to create a couple rectangles. So the first rectangle is going to be our height of our of the mug. And to put realistic dimensions on the rectangle, we're going to first make a 90 millimeter length or lengthwise by 55 millimeter width. So now we have a rectangle like this. After this, we're going to do another rectangle, but this time we're going to make a construction. So, it's and what it's going to do is you're going to put the first point up here and the second point here. And make sure it is 3 millimeters wide. The placement of the rectangle doesn't matter right now as long as they're touching both the top and the bottom. Now, in order for it to become fully constrained, we're going to first put we're going to first put a dimension between this line and this line. And this dimension could if we're doing it proportionally it should be between like 30 and 35 millimeters but what I've done in the past is I've made this around 31 millimeters just to give a better length now throughout this video I'm gonna do a bit of some modifications just to show like the different types of like cups you can do but for now just put let's put 31 because it's very easy now the next thing you should do is you can just put an another construction Part. This time, put a line from here to here, and make sure it is parallel to this line or perpendicular to the bottom line, and it spans from top and bottom. And then, what you do is you put a dimension, or just press D on your keyboard, between this and this, and it will be three millimeters like that. So now you have kind of a ba ba This is the basic layout that you're going to use. So now, in order to give a just a startup of how this is going to look like. We're going to do a three point arc. It's a bit lagging. The first point, and we're going to put two of these arcs. And make sure you click out construction because these are going to be legitimate parts of our mug. So the first three point arc is going to go from this line to this line. And the second one is going to go from this one to this one. So in order to construct it, we're going to put the first point here, the second point here, and the third point can be anywhere we want. And we're going to do the same thing from here to here. Maybe anything you want. And here's what it's going to look like. It does look a bit ugly, but we're going to fix that by using the tangent constraint. The tangent constraint, we're going to take, we're going to connect it from this line to this line. So it's going to look a little bit better. And then we're going to connect this to this. Now, as you can see, this specific point was not specified onto this line. And this might happen to you guys if you have if it, if it doesn't specify with it. So in order, to, in order to fix that, we will do the coinciding constraint for this point in this line. And now we have our, our full curve that is fully constrained. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a rectangle from here to here. Make sure, actually it can be any length you want. We're just going to put constraints later. Make sure it is again 3 millimeters thick uh, and the width does not matter. And we're going to have a rectangle that's going to show like this. And then after that, we're going to put the coinciding constraint between this point and the origin. Or whatever point this is in your rectangle. It doesn't matter too much. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a bit of fillets. The first fillet is going to be between here and here. And it's going to be about, let's put it 2 millimeters. Or maybe even 4 to put it on the matter. And the second fillet we're going to put is between here and here. And it's going to be, I wanted to put it like 8, but you can put it like 10. And I wouldn't want to do this, but you can put 20 if you want. So, yeah, just put it like that, and you got that. So now that we got the side profile for the cup, we're now going to do the handle path that we're going to use in a sweep. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to first do a rectangle and make sure it's in construction. And we're going to put one point right here, and the second point can be arbitrarily anywhere. The first two things we're going to do after this is we're going to first put a dimension. 
uh, around 15 millimeters from here and up here. And after this, what we're going to do is we're going to specify the distance between here and here to be about 35 millimeters. And the next and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put another rectangle that is, as I said earlier, uh, construction, and we're going to put it to be 15 millimeters tall with the same length. So it's going to look like this. So now that we got that out of the way, we're going to do more three-point arcs with this. So the first three-point arc, actually, no, we're going to use a circle. The circle can be arbitrarily anywhere from here. So after this, you may notice that the top rectangle is not fully constrained, as you can kind of drag out this point and it'll go out and it'll go out. In some of your cases, it's the same case as me. What you would do is you would just take this point and just constrain right here so the top rectangle is not fully constrained. So after that, we're going to be creating a construction line that's going to come out of this part. Ready to come out of this part. And it doesn't matter what length it is, it's gonna be it's gonna be specified later. So we're gonna go out of construction and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a three point arc. The points that we're gonna use the three point arc are gonna be here. The th the second point is gonna be here, and the third point is gonna be right here. And as you can see it's still not fully constrained. So the first the lot that's the thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a tangent from here to here and now it is fully constrained. The second arc we're going to do is we're just going to do another three point arc. The first point is going to be right here. The first point is going to be the same place as here. Right now it's not really working so I'll put it randomly here. The second point I'm going to make sure it's going to be here and the third point is going to be arbitrary. So after this, the if you're in the same situation as me, make sure that the points are coinciding here and after this specify this point to be right here and now it we now have our basic path of our our handle so now we now that we got that out the way we are now going to basically we're now just going to say finish sketch and now the first thing that we are going to do after this is we're going to create first of all we're going to create a point through two edges, so it's going to be here and here. We're going to create a point right here. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to measure dis distance between here and here, so I think that's about 52, or between here and here, which should be about 52 millimeters. And the third thing we're going to do is we're going to create an offset plane from here that is going to be on the same place as here, so it's going to be minus 52 millimeters in my case. After that, we're going to create a sketch that's going to be right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to first do a circle that's going to be up here. And the diameter, I'm just going to make it about 15 millimeters because that's a good size. It's a little bit under an inch, but it's over centimeters. So that'll be a good size for you to grab the cup. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to cut, we're going to put a line to make kind of a triangle shape. This is kind of seen in a lot of cups that you're going to see. And the third thing we're going to finally do is we're going to trim off this, this, and that is it. And, the f and of course, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to specify the distance between here and here, and that's 7.5, and that's it. We now have our basic view of our handle. So we're going to finish the sketch. And we're now going to do a bit of some things. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a revolute of this, these three parts, around this axis to get our basic shape of the cup. So as, as you can see, it looks like a cup. We'll press enter after that. And the second thing we're going to do is in the same sketch, we're going to hide this body right now. We're going to create a sweep between this, these few parts, and this. Make sure it has the full thing. And we're going to create and make sure we unhide the body. And we're basically just going to join it. So that's going to look a lot like a lid, like this. As you can see. Now, 
another thing you can notice is that this part is kind of sticking in and we don't want to do that it's really annoying so to simply fix that what we're going to do is we're going to create a revolute up here like that and we're going to spin it around this axis to cut it and as you can see we now have our cup that's right here so right now we're going to do a couple modifications we're going to do a fillet we're going to do a couple fillets the first fillet is going to be these two lines and it's going to be up like this it can't really go up too much so we're going to make it just 1.5 or let's make it one as you can see right here and just wait a bit and the second fillet we're going to do is right here we'll also just make this one just to keep it a little bit more ubiquitous and the third fillet we're going to do is we're going to do it up here we're going to try to make it as much as we can oh we can do it a lot in this case we're just going to put it about four millimeters that's a bit too big actually make it 2.5 yeah that's much better let's do 2.5 millimeters here and we're going to fill it this part to be a bit big uh, this part will be a bit bigger make it one make it three make it six yeah this is how it's going to be about six millimeters and now the final thing that we should do is we could try to do is we can just fill it this so that it will have a little bit of a smoother grab so about 13 millimeters would do more than enough to make it a bit smoother of a grab and now we have our cup like this final thing that we should do is we should just make this a bit rounded you know make it two mil no make it make it rounded make it about 1.5 millimeters and now this is how you create a cup so the first thing we should do once we have our cup design is we should just do control s and here it is we have our cup and this is how you make a cup in fusion 360 all right that is it for this video in the next video we're going to be talking about a couple features in the modified tab and give a good introduction to joints and component design. Alright, see ya.